99 shooter here. I've got on the bench today an American classic. This is a 1978 Marlin model 336 chambered in 3030 Winchester. Picked it up about 20 years ago. It's pretty good shape then, not too bad. I've got a Vortex diamond head, 2 to 7 by 35 up top. Great scope. Uh, I had to do a few upgrades to it over the years. Um, sorry, the crown was kind of dinged up pretty bad, so I had that chamfered, 45 degree chamfering on the muzzle. Trigger was atrocious. The notorious floppy Marlin triggers, the brass triggers. So I have uh, an upgraded Happy Trigger, large loop lever, my Wild West guns. It's been really good. Took a few deer with it. Um, the stocks were pretty bad shape. They were uncheckered, um, and the finish was pretty bad. I sanded them down a few years ago and restained them. The color, I believe, was espresso, and uh, it came out pretty good. Not too bad, but it's getting kind of scratched up again. I didn't do a very good job with it, but I got a C in wood shop. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, but fresh off the heels of my Harrington and Richardson 980 Ultra Slug uh, Boyd stock unboxing my wife hooked me up for Christmas let's do an unboxing for this Marlin 336 let's set him out of the way I'm pretty excited had it for a few days now, but I've been waiting to. Pop this open. Seal. Packing slip stuff. Two pieces. Let's start with the handguard. This is, what was this called again? Nutmeg. It's called, this finish is called Nutmeg. Oh, ho, ho, nice. And the check ring is called Skip Line. Very cool. Kind of uh, classy, I think. Hopefully, there's not going to be a lot of fitting involved. There was some minor fitting with my H&R 980, but uh, like I said, even for someone that got a C in wood shop, so to speak, not too hard to handle. And that's beautiful. The front sling swivel clamps onto the magazine tube, so there is no magazine stud. Wow, nice. Look at the skip line checkering. And yeah, this thing was like finished and lacquered like not long ago. It's still, I might need to let it air out. <laughs> but, uh,. Slight blemish there, not too bad, but doesn't matter. I know you have it in the field. It's gonna go. Boyd's got their own uh, end plate on here. The skip line checkering is awesome. Very smooth, grippy in the right spot for lefties and for righties. Preliminarily, it doesn't look like there's going to be uh, any fitting, but you never really know until you get it on the bench and you start to put it together. But we'll see. But uh, this nutmeg wood is uh, it's a really nice color. It's kind of traditional, so to speak. But uh, beautiful grain, and I love the skip line checkering. It's, uh, it's old school, classy. I like it. Well, let's get this put together and see what it looks like. 
together. Wow. <laughs> Thank you to my lovely wife for a pretty nice Christmas present. Cool. Let's see what it looks like. 